especially want to thank the church, the pastor, the elders, the council members, and every one of you, amen, for inviting me over here and being so patient, so kind, and giving us so delicious food. Hallelujah. Amen. Serving each other, loving each other. Amen. God bless you all. Amen. Praise God. Amen. My wife, when I spoke to her yesterday and day before yesterday, her heart's spirit is all with me over here. And she's saying, how was the meeting today? How was the meeting today? Praise God. And please, she told me to convey her regards to you all. She was here 2019 with me when we came as a family. Amen. So she remembers each one of you. Praise God. Amen. Um, also, I want to thank the worship team for doing a wonderful job in praise and worship. Amen. Really, it's, it's, it's a great joy to worship along with you all, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. God willing, in the end of the service, we will also have the same song again, May Azad, if you don't mind. Praise God. Amen. So we will uh, enjoy the worship after the word even today. Praise God. I want to thank Pastor Shibu also. It's good to know a pastor, a man of God. Amen. All the way from Canada. God bless you, Pastor. Amen. And everyone in the congregation, everyone present over here, may God bless you. Bless you. Good to hear some wonderful testimonies. And when the children came forward, it was such a great joy to see their smiling faces and seeing the scripture. Amen. Particularly that little girl who said, I don't know. <laughs> and when she said, I don't know, you all clapped. <laughs> How I wish I could also say that I don't know what to preach today and you will clap. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. But good to hear from our little children. They remind us the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. And especially I pray for those children who have committed their life for, to live for Christ and going to take their water baptism. May the power of God, may the presence of God be there on the day of water baptism. It's one moment of time. When Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit is present. Water baptism is the time when the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit is present. And when the child comes out from the water, and the pastor lays hand over the child and says, Amen, be filled in the Holy Spirit. Be faithful to the very end of your life. That's when the Holy Spirit comes upon the person. And from that day onwards, the child is a child of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. She, he or she will be led by the Spirit of God. Amen. But that is not the end. From there we have to pray for them more, even more. Hallelujah. Amen. So the responsibility is over us. Amen. And God will take the child to the destiny and the calling that for which that child has taken that decision for water baptism. Praise God. Amen. God bless the services ahead. Amen. Praise God. God be with all of you. Amen. We have been uh, learning about discipleship and evangelism. Praise God. And I didn't turn back to see that sister who works in PayPal. But God bless you. Amen. Can you raise your hand? Amen. Who was the sister? Praise God. God bless you. Prema, right? Padma. Praise God. Padma, I'll remember you in prayer. Amen. It really is a breakthrough to do that. You know, it really needs boldness. Praise God. May God use you there. May God lift your Amen. Uh, position over there because Bible says when we lift up the name of Jesus, the Lord in the right time will exalt you. Amen. Just humble and serve him wherever you are. Amen. Praise God. May God bless all of you. Every one of you. Let's, let's build this hunger and thirst within us and let's edify each other. Amen. If there's anyone going down, build that person up. Praise God. As I said yesterday, Amen. One person saw potential in Jesus. Amen. And in another, Jesus saw the potential. Praise God. And so I see the same thing happening over here. Every one of you has have a potential. And everyone believes that in Christ there is great potential. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. So when we give our life to Jesus and we say, Lord, use me for your glory. Hallelujah. Whatever I am, I am for you. My eyes, my ears, my life, my body, everything I give to you, Father God. Lead me by your Holy Spirit, Lord. Guide me. Bless me. Hallelujah. Teach me your ways. Hallelujah. Let me tell you, amen, there is no limit, hallelujah, in God. Hallelujah. Amen. You will do exceedingly and abundantly. Hallelujah. Praise God. Before we move forward in the word of God, I want to just give you my testimony. Amen. When I came in 2014 to Dubai, I didn't knew anyone. I came with a job visa. 
I didn't want to come. But God told me, I'm sending you. I'm changing your time, your season. When I came there, I mean, by the grace of God, I got connected to a church. And I was with the church for a year and a half. And after that, the church appointed me the uh, main pastor over there. The council members, they all came to me and said, Pastor, we want you to be the main pastor. Amen. After that happened, I said, okay, if that is the way, we all kept that matter in prayer and it happened. Uh, later on, the Lord gave me the burden to raise uh, leaders, amen, cell leaders. We have cell uh, churches also in respective areas and God gave me the burden to raise leaders who will run those cell meetings and they are doing wonderfully in the presence of God, amen. Great anointing, the Lord has raised a set of leaders, even when I am here today, amen, they don't miss me at all, amen, praise God, why? Because the leaders, they are more anointed, amen, more power, more glory over them, praise God, and every cell is growing, amen, each one brings one, and when they bring someone to their respective cell, they all try to bring him also to the main service. So the main service is growing from a small place. We went into a larger place. Amen. And we have we had for one day when five people had raised their hands for water baptism. We conducted three weeks of Bible class only on water baptism for the whole church. On that day of baptism, when the five had given their names for water baptism and then standing in the water, I said, if there's anyone who wants to give your life to Jesus, the presence of the Lord was so powerful that day. Praise God. Five more people from the banks of the, you know, they raised their hand and that day we had 10, 10 or 11, hallelujah, people getting totally baptized, praise God. More than one, one and a half hour I was in the water deep, hallelujah, praise God. But I'm telling you, God is moving powerfully in the Middle East. Not just our church, but every church we are seeing an increase, praise God. Amen. Many people are receiving Christ. Many people are seeing dreams, hallelujah. Many people are looking for the truth, hallelujah. So if the church, hallelujah, is ready, hallelujah, the Lord is going to add souls into the church. How many of you believe that? Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. 2018, the Lord gave me the burden to start a, a Hindi church. Praise God. Amen. And we had no contact with any. You know, we started the church in our home only for Hindi people. There were two people who came in the first day through contact. The next meeting, we took a classroom in faith. There were only four people. But today, fast forward, amen, by the grace of God. 2020, we gathered all on Zoom. Amen. 21, we found a place. Amen. And um, by the grace of God, we have, a, we have taken a big hall for ourselves for the whole year. Amen. There are three different rooms. Amen. The Hindi church, I'm talking about Christ Worship Center. Amen. And we have taken this place from in February when we took the place the rent was something that we couldn't afford but I requested the builder whether he would give us you know for free I mean because there's no power no electricity no water washroom everything closed I said we, we, we just want to come and worship our Lord for two hours will you give us without any charging us any rent after two days he gave us the permission we were all so happy Amen. When we came there, we started worshipping and praising God. Sweat, no fan, no AC, nothing. But they were so much joyful. Amen. All our people were so happy. Two months we worshipped in the same place every Friday. Amen. We saw people coming in. We saw deliverance happening. We saw people being filled in the Holy Spirit. Mighty things of, you know, the holy work of the Holy Spirit happening in that situation. And then we again approached the builder for reducing the rent. Amen. And he brought it down to 8,000 dirham. He brought it down. Hallelujah. Immediately we took that step of faith. And today by the grace of God is completely soundproof. There is air condition. We still worship on the carpet. Amen. No chairs, but there are some chairs in the behind for elders who come. But let me tell you, the church has seen a tremendous growth. More than 80 people are there every service. And every service we will have at least 5 to 7 new people coming. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. The month of January this year, we had baptism. Month of March, we had baptism. And I said, after we come back, we will again have baptisms this month. Praise God. Amen. 
Everyone is burning. How are you in the Holy Spirit? Hallelujah. No one leaves the place even after the service is over. Because where the presence of God is, no one wants to leave that place. Hallelujah. Amen. We have testimonies. We have miracles happening. Demon possess people. They, you know, they manifest and they are healed and delivered. The service is supposed to start at 2 o'clock. The worship team starts at 2 Amen. Praise God. And when the people walk in, they feel that the worship has already started. But actually, it's a practice session going on. But they, they practice in such a way that they already know everything. And they're not talking. And they're just moving in the spirit. Praise God. Amen. And the service is supposed to end at 4.35. Ends at 6, 6.30. And still people don't want to leave. Praise God. Amen. Let me tell you, there is no limit in the presence of God. Amen. Amen. So it's important to recognize the presence of God and know that you are nothing, amen, and you need him more and more in your life, amen. And when you say, Lord, use me for your glory, let me tell you, none of our people look at their watch. No one is hungry. Even after the benediction is given, I see people just praising God on their knees, not even getting up, not even want to leave the place. And we have to somehow bring it down because we have some uh, transporters, you know, who come and bring people and take them back. So they are waiting out. So we have to somehow bring it to, you know, an end. But even after that, people don't want to leave. Praise God. I want you all to pray for the church. Amen. Today, by the grace of God, amen, I don't have to do much. Just come forward with the word of God. There are worshippers, there are uh, elders, the leaders who are powerful intercessors. Amen. Praise God. Anointed people of God. One word they speak and the fire of God comes upon people. Amen. Praise God. Miracles happening, signs, wonders, everything happening. Above everything, the miracle, the greatest miracle is when someone says, I want to receive Christ as my personal savior and I want to be baptized. That is the biggest miracle. Hallelujah. Praise God, praise God, praise God. We give the full gospel. Amen. And we want lives to be transformed. We see Muslims coming in. We see Hindus coming in. And they say that just we just want to know the truth. Hallelujah. Amen. And the truth is setting people free. Amen. Amen. Praise God. So I want all of you to pray because this is the last session. I'll be traveling back day tomorrow, Tuesday morning to Dallas. Amen. From there, the 11th. Going back to Dubai. Praise God. Request all of you to pray for me because as you know, there are two churches. <laughs> there are two firms that I'm looking at working in one of them. Praise God. And at the same time, one family. So everything is two-two, but the family is one. Huh? Praise God. <laughs> Amen. Request all of you to pray. Amen. It needs a lot of, you know, time, dedication and waiting upon the Lord for direction. You know, because um, there's so many things that we plan to do, but we don't want to do anything without the work of the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit leading us. Amen. Our brothers, they go to camps and they don't know whom to meet, what to do, but they just sit there. They see African brothers playing football. They just go and sit there and they're praying, Lord, whom should we share the gospel with? And suddenly one comes and sits next to them. Drinking water, he said, brother, they said, just start generally casually talking to them. He said, what are you doing? We came here to just pray for you. Oh, you people pray. And that's how it starts. You know, then he calls another two, three people. And they say, then it goes every Friday. And there starts a fellowship over there. Just talking, sharing, and telling who we are is all evangelism. Amen. Praise God. And that's how our church, which was 20 or 30 in number, we grew to 150. Praise Hallelujah. God. In the span of one year, hallelujah. And God opened us, you know, all gates of different, different cells. You know, now it's the opposite. We have more people, amen, but less people now to go out. Earlier we had more people to go out, you know, and less souls coming in. But now it's the opposite. We have more members of the family now, amen. But we are again constantly raising up like-minded people. Amen. Praising God that God will set more leaders in the church. Amen. Amen. Responsibility must be shared. It should not be on one person. Praise God. Amen. And so I request all of you, if you have the passion to serve Christ, amen, stand up for Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Ask the Lord to consume you completely. Praise God. It's not about me, my church. We pray that there will be many churches in the places where God has planted us. I tell my people, we don't have sufficient place left now. And I don't want people from other churches to come in our church. We want only new people. 
So one day one brother called me, Pastor. He said, Pastor, there's a, uh, uh, there, there's a set of seven people who want to come to a church. I said, who are these seven people? They used to go to a church. Now they don't go anywhere. I said, tell them to go there only. Not to come here. Praise God. We want only those people who don't know about Christ to come in this church. Praise God. We, don't, we are not here to fill the church. but We are here to transform lives. Praise God. Amen. We are not here to fish into another church and get some people and then so you, you know we have a lot of offering and tight now that is not the business that we are into amen now everyone knows it amen so if there's anyone who says we encourage that brother that sister to please go to your own church hallelujah because there's a man of god who worked very hard on you amen just because the lightning is good, just because the music is good, just because from here the good message is coming, we don't want you to leave that church and come here. Amen. Praise God. And this is done with great love. And they respect that. Praise God. Amen. So shall we close our eyes today? Amen. Ask God, Lord, speak to me. Each one of you. Hallelujah. Everyone watching on Zoom, God bless you. Amen. Praise God. Everyone who's come here for the first time, God bless you. May the Spirit of God, amen, take over the meeting in His hands. Hallelujah. Amen. We want God to speak to us. We want lives to be transformed. As we heard from the Son today, Lord, revive us. Lord, restore us. Hallelujah. Lord, hallelujah. Help us. Hallelujah. Each one of you need to pray. Father God, the reason that I am alive today is for a heavenly call. It's for a great purpose. Hallelujah. I don't want to be lost. Hallelujah. In this earthly things and being busy with the earthly things. No, I am a child of God. I am the ambassador of the Lord Jesus Christ. I am sent here with a purpose. Hallelujah. Amen. Lord, help me, Father God. Help me, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. How will we come to know for what have you called us for? Hallelujah. Speak to us. Change us, Father God. Give us the perspective, Father God. The heavenly perspective, Father God. Amen. To see things from your eyes. Hallelujah. To overcome challenge. To overcome all hurdles. Father God, we humble, we surrender. Not that what I have thought about to speak. But Lord, Holy Spirit, speak to each one of us. Amen. Speak to us, Lord. One word from you can change our life forever. Amen. Lord, without you, we cannot do anything. Hallelujah. Let no work of the flesh be manifested, Lord. But every powerful, amen, in the name of Jesus, every, every, every evil spirit of darkness, distraction, leave this place in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's heart open up. Hallelujah. To receive, hallelujah, the incorruptible word and the seed of God. Hallelujah. Let every heart be prepared. Hallelujah. To receive the Savior. Hallelujah. Amen. Every heart and heart be softened today. In Jesus name. Hallelujah. Life be transformed Father God. If there's anyone who is sick they be healed in Jesus name Father God. And Lord use us for your glory. This is your church. You paid the price. Amen. We come back to you Father God. Revive us. Restore us. Use us. And let only the name of Jesus be glorified. Thank you, Lord, for answering our prayer. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen.